today I'm gonna be showing you how to clean your keyboard. One of them being right here, that's my Hyperx keyboard. And the second keyboard, Leopold FC 980 PD. Here's the box by the way, you can read the title here. You can see it's all dusty and roughed up. I'm gonna clean all that. Now cleaning those keyboards took me over four hours to complete. So make sure you have enough patience to complete cleaning those keyboards. Now some things you need to have. Any type of ball, I will be using Fairy. A toothbrush, paper towel. Now first thing you want to do, take a picture because you need to have a reference on how to put down all the keycaps that you just took off. So the picture is done. Now we can get to the cleaning part. Now first thing you want to do is to take off all of your keycaps that you have right here and put them in the bowl that you want to use to soak in all of your keycaps. And one thing I kind of fucked up, I forgot to tell that you need to use a keycap puller. And one thing that I just realized is that I don't have any. Now I do not recommend this, but I will be using this knife to take off all the keycaps. Don't do that. This is stupid. You probably have a keycap puller. I have one, but it's in a different apartment. You could as well use your hands. Now you take off the keycaps and just put them in a bowl and you keep on doing that. You need to be extra careful about the big keys because some of them have stabilizers and some stabilizers might be really annoying to take off. Pretty simple. They're basically like second switches on the sides, but be careful. Now I am done with this keyboard, let me quickly show you how it looks like from the inside. Now for this keyboard, I'm not gonna use knife that much because I can just do it by hand because it's a skeleton type of keyboard so it is much easier to use your hands than using any type of tool. But tool is still much better than using your hands so keep on using the keycap puller but I will suffer and use my hands. As you might see, it is much more cleaner than the other one because this has been in use only for a month or two, so the difference is pretty noticeable. Now the next step to do when cleaning the keyboard is to take your bowl with all of your caps, put them in the sink, turn on water, and completely submerge them in the water. The next step is to take your dishwasher and add just a tiny bit into the bowl and let it get all soapy. That should be probably enough. Basically at this time when they're soaking, we're gonna be cleaning the keyboards. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of cloth or paper towel and rub all the things. I don't think that's the right time to tell you, but I am no way professional at cleaning the keyboards. In fact, I am an immature that never did it before. Actually, that's a lie, I did it twice. Well now, I think I'm pretty much done with this keyboard. I don't think I can make it any more cleaner than it is already. Now with this keyboard, it is a little bit more complicated because as you might see, it has borders and you cannot just swipe all the dust away. So what you need to do with this keyboard is you need to tilt it and swipe it downward. I will be doing all of that on the floor because I will vacuum later, so it doesn't matter, but you can choose whatever place you want. So I think that is good enough. So the best move would probably be to take this entire plate off. But unfortunately, I cannot do that because it does take a lot of time and it could potentially damage the keyboard and I don't want to take the risks. Now the next thing you want to do is get back to the keycaps that we just soaked and get rid of all the water. Now the next thing you need to do is to get the towel, put it all on the table, on a white table, take all of your keycaps and just put it on the towel. Now you want to spread out all the keycaps. Now you need to turn all of them backwards so that you can see the axes. Now that they are all on their backs, turn on the fan. Now you turn on the fan and you can leave it on for about 10 minutes to dry off all the keycaps. Now that all of these are properly dried out, you can see that there's still water left inside of them. We're gonna have to take all of them and cleanly wipe them all in front of the table. Now I got both of these keyboards set in right here and I will be putting on all the keycaps back. Thankfully, I did remember all the orientation, so I will be just picking the keycap, taking a paper towel and wiping them from the inside, hoping that they will be dried enough. So 
So my camera just died, as well as my tripod. I did finish putting on all the keycaps. I did try the keyboards out. They do work, they do work perfectly. What can I say? Those keycaps really do make a difference. You can definitely see that this keyboard became so much cleaner than it was before. Obviously, you can still see all the dust that came out. Unfortunately, you cannot make the keyboards look perfect. But yeah, I will be concluding the video. Thanks a lot for watching it. I really appreciate it. And I will be hoping to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.